So let's talk a little bit about what Alex Jones has been talking about lately. Since he got kicked off the internet, at least. Well, he's been talking a lot about the First Amendment, of course, and about how he's kind of planned this. And, um, you know, if that is true, and I think it is true, because he knew, I think he knew, showing up on other people's videos under a 90-day suspension would get him kicked off. I think he knew that, um, I think he knew that he was what he's doing. And, uh, it was brilliant. Honestly, it's brilliant to get yourself kicked off of social media. He's all over the news. He's all over, at least my Facebook feed, people that normally wouldn't have talked about Alex Jones are talking about Alex Jones. And, um, it's kind of brilliant, you know. He's had he had the uh, creator of Gab on on his program. I think the first day that he got kicked off the internet, and um, you know, Gab is pretty much like uh, Twitter for conservatives. Um, but you know, Alex Jones, <laughs> the last remaining you know site that uh, you can still find Infowars on or Alex Jones on is Twitter. Paul Joseph Watson apparently is fine. You know, I think as long as you speak in a British accent, you're allowed to say whatever you want. So, I think, you know, Alex ought to look into maybe some voice classes. He might ought, he could uh, come out as a completely different uh, identity. You know, he could be, oh my god, the most brilliant thing I've ever thought of. Alex Jones comes out as a transsexual British conservative that could be I'm just gonna end the video on that note I mean